All right, my cousins, so uh, we have been joined for another family reunion, and it's a haul. It's another haul. Can you believe that? I have more stuff, so hey, let's get right into it, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. All right, you guys, so I have some makeup products, some hair products, and I have some skin products. So let's get right into all the things that I've been buying these last couple of weeks. All right, so I bought two um, two more Real Technique brushes, and I actually already have the Expert Face Brush, and I'm pretty sure that you've seen this all over YouTube, in your drugstore, pretty much any kind of store that sells makeup products. And I bought the Expert Face Brush, and I bought the Instapop Face Brush. Let's see. Take it, out, take it out of the box so you can see what it looks like. I always go back and use this brush just to kind of set everything in. And this is what it looks like. I like this brush, but it's like the bristles just keep coming out of it for some reason. Especially when I clean it. I don't know why. I've tried using soap. I use oil. I use detergent. I use like the Real Techniques um, makeup brush cleanser. And it always tends to come out. So I don't know why. So I just keep buying them. Okay. And then the next thing I have are two concealers, and I have the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define, and this is in the color C13. And I do already have this foundation in C12, and I really like it. And so I had to get, I wanted to try another color to kind of mix with the C12. And then I have the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fun, and I use these all the time, especially on days that I do not want to use foundation. I will mix fun and toast together, and it's like a perler. So I use these on a regular basis all the time. I also have um, a video up that I use only the LA Girl concealers as a foundation, and I'll link, link that in the list that wants to go and check that out. So these are two concealers that I really do like. Let's see what else. Then I have the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot, and this is in the color Laying Low. And I was watching somebody's video. I can't even tell you who. I watched so many of them. And she was using this as her eyeshadow base. And it came out so beautiful. I was like, okay, let me go order it. So this is what it looks like. And I've never tried the paint pots before. So this will be my first time using it. But her results were amazing. So I hope mine are too. Then the next thing I have is a lip balm, and it's the Natural Lemon Mint Lip Repair, and it's by Skin Fix, and I got this from my CVS. I have a million lip glosses, lip balms, anything to put on your lips, I, lip gloss, lipstick, everything. I just love lip products, so every time that I see a new one, I always have to go and pick it up. So this is just a new one that I've got just to throw in my purse. And then I have the Master Prime Maybelline primer base and it's supposed to hydrate and smooth and it's like in this blue package And I've been using this for like probably two weeks and I do feel like it hydrates my skin because I have extremely dry skin So I really do like this to use like on a daily basis It's not really like a high-end high kind of primer, but for like a daily basis or everyday kind of look This is a perfect um, primer for Next, me. I have the Maybe City mini palette and I have a million of these. I don't know why I keep buying these because I hardly ever use them. But when I saw this blue in this one, in the purple, I was like, okay, I have to have it. So this is what it looks like. I think it's gorgeous. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. I don't know why. I was just drawn to it. So I was like, okay, yeah, I'll go ahead and get it. All right, and then the next thing I have is the Makeup Revolution Reloaded Iconic Neutrals 2 palette. And I was watching, what is her name? I have no idea. I cannot remember anybody's name right now, but she was using this palette, and this is actually what I used to create my look that I'm wearing today, and this is what it looks like. So beautiful, and I think too, this was only $7.99, I think. It was either $7.99 or $8.99 at Ulta, but it's beautiful. I love it, and it blends out, and it's very pigmented, as you can see. If you can see my um, eye look today that I'm wearing, this is what I use. I only used this palette. I didn't use anything else but this one. So I really do like it. And I'm really glad that I went and got it. And then I have the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. And I was watching somebody else's video. And it was like, you have to have this liner. I haven't even opened it yet. I, don't, I haven't tried it yet. But we'll see how that goes. I'm pretty sure I'm going to use it in a video soon. And then I have another concealer. This is the MAC Prep and Prime 
highlighter, but I use it as a concealer. And this is in the color Peach Luster. And this is what it looks like. It's, you know, I, I've already used it a couple of times. So, and I like it. I feel like it's a good concealer because it's not, it's not too orange under my foundation. It does not change the color of my foundation. So, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you guys. If... If I upload a video and then I delete it, it's because I was not satisfied with the video because I did upload a video yesterday, and but I decided to delete it because I just didn't like the lighting in it. I'm having a really hard time getting my lighting just on like on a consistent basis because I'm using a ring light and I, you know, mine, you have to adjust the light so I can't really get it the same in every video. And it's a really a really big struggle for me because I want to put up content that's good, you know, especially with the lighting. Because what's the point of me putting up a makeup video if you can't really see what I'm doing because the lighting's off or it's too dim or whatever the case may be? So that's why you may notice that if I put a video video up, I might delete it. That's the reason. All right. So the next thing I have is another palette, and it's the Nat Natasha Denona palette. And I actually did a video on this yesterday, but I end up that's the one that I'm talking about that I deleted. So this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. I'm gonna have to do another video on this one. In the video that I deleted was, um, I made, I did a full face using makeup that I really don't like, and this made it to that video. So I'm gonna have to do that. I probably will record that video over on a, a later day, but I plan on uploading a hair video tomorrow. So look out for that. All right. So now I think that's all of my makeup stuff. We're gonna get into. Let's do the skincare products. All right. So. If you have, if you do not know, I love masks. I love any kind of mask, peel off masks, scrubs, exfoliators, whatever. I don't care. I love them. So I was in Sephora and they had their Freeman mask. I think it was like two for five or two for something like that. So I ended up getting two of them. And it's, and I, the first one that I'm going to talk about is the clearing peel off. It's the clearing tea tree plus lemon peel off clay mask. And this is what it looks like. And I have not got around to using any, either one of these, but... I'm uh, pretty sure I will. And then the second one is the Brightening Green, green Tea Plus Orange, orange Blossom Peel-Off Mask. And this is what it looks like. And, of course, I saw a peel-off, so I was like, okay, yeah, I got to have that. So, um, it's you know, they say that lemon is supposed to be good for brightening. So, I'm really hoping that these help with my skin because, as you, as you know from my other videos, I am trying to improve my skin, especially the dark marks. I'm trying to get them to lighten up. So these are two two masks that I do plan on using in the future. And let me know if you want to know if you want me to do like a mask video or something like that. But I do plan on doing another type of mask, not these. But just let comment me section if you would like to see a video on these masks or any other mask or any kind of skin products like that. So just let me know. All right. And then I have another mask and it's by St. Eve's Ives. And it's the Black Head Clearing Mask. And it's the green tea scrub. And I think I've used it before, but they changed the packaging on it. And it's supposed to, it's for clear, it says it clears blackheads and unclogs pores. And this is the packaging on it. I think I have tried this before. Yeah, I have because I remember the smell of it. I actually really do like the smell of this. And I really, I have really bad blackheads. So I'm hoping that this will help on my blackheads. But we'll see on that one. And I think that's all of the face products that I have now. I just have some more hair products, and that'll be it. And I did use these two products in a video already. It's the Apple G Colorific Curl Definer line that Apple G came out with. And this is the Curl Definer, and this is the Moisture Rich Leave-In. And that's what they look like. I love these products together. I feel like they're really good. I use these in my twist out that I did a video on previously. I want to try them like a, in a wash and go because I'm trying to, you know, do my wash and goes without using gel. So I want to use these two products to see how my wash and go will turn out. And this is probably the video that I'll put up tomorrow. And I really do like these. I like the way that my hair looks. It just really defines my curls. And I actually used this, and somebody was like, who, who, what did you use on your hair? And they could tell that I used something different, so I really do like those. Okay, and then, you know, everybody's been raving about the Cream of Nature Pure Honey line or whatever. So I went out, and I got two of the products from the line. I did not get everything because I just don't feel like I need everything in the line. Maybe, maybe I'll go back and get the other stuff on a later day. So I got the Moisturizing Dry Defense Conditioner, and this is what it looks like. 
and I have really dry hair, skin, so I'm just dry. I'm a dry mess, okay? So I need anything that's going to replace the moisture in my hair. So I got the conditioner, and then I also got the Cream of Nature Pure Honey Hair Mask. And it says it moisturizes, replenish, and scrimp, and I need all of that. Okay, so this is what it looks like, the packaging. And I have not used this. <sighs> It smells really clean. It smells really nice. It just feels, it smells nice. I don't really smell honey in it. And it's like a brownish, orangish, oranges, brown, orange looking color, tan maybe. But I like the way that it smells. So I'm very interested in using these two products as a wash and go or a twist out. I haven't decided yet. So let me know if you want me to do a video on the Cream of Nature. Just leave it down in the comment section. And then I picked up the Eco Styler Custard. And I don't think I've ever seen this before. It's the Curl and Styling Custard. And I saw it in my beauty supply store when I was in there the other day. Hmm. I don't know. The smell is okay. So I kind of want to try this on a wash and go too. And this is the packaging on it. We'll see how that goes. And then I I bought I saw this in somebody's video. It was some girl that I watch all the time. She does people hair on YouTube, and she was talking about this new edge, this new edge control, and this is by Style Factor. It says the Edge Booster, and it's a strong whole water-based pomade, and I got it in the blueberry, blueberry scent because they have different scents. Let's see how it smells. If it smells like blueberry, oh, y'all, it smells. <laughs> It smells so good. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. So I got this from my beauty supply store too. And this is just a container of it. I'm not really sure if you if the camera is going to be able to pick it up. But yes, this is by Style Factor. And it smells so good. I haven't used this either. And I'm not a really big edge control person, but I'm trying to try new things. I want to learn how to swoop my hair, you know. So I wanted to kind of buy a new edge control. So I'm really hoping that this will work out for my hair type. But will you see that in another video also? Now, these two products I'm kind of iffy about. I did see this on a couple of people's videos. And I couldn't really determine if you're supposed to use it for not because I do have eczema. If you don't know, I do have eczema. And I have it on my scalp, so I have to be really careful of the things that I put on there. So I try to use stuff that don't have a lot of perfume in it. But both of these 10, they both of them smell like they have perfume in it. Now, this one is not as strong as the other one. And it's the Calcom, cal 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 I don't know how to pronounce this, but this is what it looks like. I ordered this off of Amazon, and I think it was only like $14 for this big old jar. And then this is the silicone mix. And I ordered this off of Amazon. I did not, I had no clue it was gonna be this big. I thought I had ordered the smaller container. And it's just like a little white basic product. And it smells like a a perfume or something. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's just a white cream. And they're supposed to be um like deep conditioner hair treatments. And on the video that I watched, they mix them together and they, you normally they mix them together and they sit under the dryer for probably 10 to 15 minutes. Um, but I'm not really sure. I kind of want to try it, but I don't really know if I, I'm, I want to risk my hair breaking out again because it's just now starting to heal up from when I, use the, when I use the main choice conditioner. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to use this or not, but it looks interesting. I don't know. I might try it on somebody else's hair first and see. But still, I don't know if it'll work on me. But, yeah. So, that's all the stuff that I have. I really do like... I don't know. These videos are just so exciting to me. Because I can see all the stuff that I've bought. Now, I can put it up because I've been saving it in this little box. So, I can remember all the stuff that I've... The recent stuff that I have bought to show you guys. So, this is all the new stuff that I've added to my collection. Um, I don't know. I might have a video like this coming up soon. I don't know. I'm kind of trying to use the stuff that I have so far, but we will see. You know, you never know with me, baby. But hey, I'll see you in the next one. Peace, and I love you guys.